Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a while. Yes. But we have returned to the classical scene. And Let's I go thought, back to the roots, baby. And I thought it's always interesting to do this, especially in the Indian music scene. Mm -hmm. And I thought we would check out a collaboration that's quite iconic, actually, in my eyes, at least, from the little that we know from Indian classical, which is Mahesh Kali and the Kaushiki Chakraborty. Um, I mean, you're talking. She, she really, came to London. I didn't know. Yeah, you're to talking Darbar. really. You're talking really uh, big uh, names in terms of like a vocal ac like uh, uh, accuracy. Yes, accuracy. Uh, every time I watch them, I always get a little bit more mind blown than quite the last a, Quite time. a lengthy one. Yes. Uh, a lot to break down. So uh, let's give it a watch. Straight up. Yeah. How do they do that? How, how, how? Oh, really cool. He's got a lot of his timbre. Mm -hmm. It sounds like he's got effects in his throat. Bring warm drinks, or it oh, might just be water. Yeah. I noticed it at that one. Yeah, 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 they do. I love how the sarang is like a like a delay effect. <laughs> it creates yeah. like this delay. I still don't understand how you play the tampura. Uh huh. Cause it's kind of like a double bass. Yeah, but you kind of like play it once and then they play it at odd times. Like it doesn't really. Yeah, I don't understand it. Then for the f nice. I know what rag this is. Rag. Wow, wow, look at how open that mouth is. He also projects through his nose as well. Oh, totally, it's coming through. Up here, yeah, it's very nice. Huh? See how he modulates the sound with his mouth? Because his larynx aren't moving. <laughs> it's the tongue in the joke. What? All right, so for those who may not know, what? so this violin looking thing, that's a sarangi. Uh -huh. Gee, we saw Ustad. Ustad Sultan Han. That's the one, He yes. was like the the one of the best sarangi players. And he had a, like a trio, musical trio with Sakir Hussain. That's right. It was like <laughs> rhythm fusion something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was unreal. Yeah. Okay, so that, that's a tampura here. Uh -huh. I got to show off my knowledge, guys. If, you're watching, <laughs> if you already know this, whatever. But for those who may not know, the violin looking thing, that's a sarangi. That's right. The big instrument that... It looks like a double bass, but kind of skinny. Yeah, that's a tampura. Tabla here. Mm -hmm. I think there's a dolak in the back. You can see the guy in the red that's kind of camouflaging. And then the harmonium. And I'm not sure what she's playing. I can't see. She might be. It's a violin, though. She's Actual violin. violin yeah. Who has the bells? Oh, this guy. The bells pull the tempo. so excited that was awesome what an entry man he wants it fast. yeah he's calling the rhythm there yeah, he wow this is hard bro They're reading it as well. She's reading it. They're reading Sanskrit. Huh? It might be like, is it? I don't know. I don't know what they're reading. Because it's a rag, right? So what would you be reading? It's a raga. I, oh, love, I love their it. interactions. Wow, that is so cool. 
This is so hard. Yes, yeah, an incredibly demanding. Yeah. See, I genuinely think it's tea. Yeah, Warm I think tea. so too. I think we so noticed too. that in Darabar Festival when we went. Interesting the dynamic between warm liquid in and, and the larynx. Um, no, it actually makes uh, well, can kind of kind of makes sense and it kind of doesn't right. because you would because given the fact that it's on a stiff larynx, you would <laughs> you would think that you need uh, something to stiffen the muscles too, but because the modulation happens outside of the larynx, right? Yeah. So the modulation actually happens with the tongue muscle down here. It's a lot more it physical. It happens with the jaw, the mouth. The, it, it's very nasal, so the note travels further up than it does uh, straight down to the mouth. It kind of travels to this cacophonic area here, like it's, it's very far for, uh, high in, in, the, in the face. Um, so yeah, in... From my knowledge, it would make more sense to have a cold, cold. beverage because yep. it would stiffen the larynx, right? So the idea of having stiff larynx that are fixed into a certain position, but given the fact that they drink warm uh, tea, tea, right, or chai, beverages think, yeah. that are quite warm, it plays. It also plays with the idea of like maybe there is more muscle movement within the larynxes. Then so we think. So, yeah, maybe the true false and false false are more active than we give it credit for, given the fact that the actual cartilage of the larynx are fixed. Maybe what happens inside of the larynx is quite active. Low so there's all, maybe there's a lot more movement within the larynx that uh, we had been given it credit for. Right. Uh, it, it, this like, poses quite, quite a, a lot Indian of questions. classical <laughs> is like all the things that you think you know, throw them out the window. Because if, if you're classical, in, cla in classical Western singing, yes, of course. No, it, yeah, it's like, and if you're like a vocal coach, like from the West, it's like fucking teach this, dog. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, you cannot. Show me this course, you know what I mean? It's like <laughs> whatever course you be selling, as soon as someone who sings Indian classical walks in, they're like, I am Thanos. <laughs> Your course. <laughs> it's crazy, dude. No shade though. I mean, no, no, it's just, it's such a different system. It is, it is. And really nuts, it, it applies is. well to pop. It does. What the it really fuck? does. It's, it, here's the thing I, I believe that once Western you learn, classical sucks at pop. Yeah, yeah. And in, in, in freaking Indian classical translates so well into alternative music. Shreya Goshal, Arijit uh, Singh, Amit Trivedi. Bro, just to keep naming them. Yeah. Yes. SPB, Lata Mangeshkar, Asha Bosle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sonu Nigam. Sonu Nigam. <laughs> yeah. Sunil Hichauhan, bro. Like, <laughs> name them, name I them. I can <laughs> keep going, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it all comes from that, at least some type of basic knowledge of classical Indian singing. Well, I think everyone we named has some has strong a, a background. Deep. Classical yeah, background. yeah. So here's the thing. I believe Sonu that. Sonu as well? Yes, yes. I believe that there is uh, such incredible beauty in the understanding of traversing of notes in Indian classical yeah. that it's so OP that you can apply it to literally anything. Amitri Vedi is one of those singers that have really explored the extent of uh, Indian classical uh, note explora exploration in so many different genres that is so so fascinating to, to listen to. I love their understanding on stage, their communication is so open. I'm not so confident now that that's a tampura or not. Be a pa para kebach. It's very hard. Also, can we just have a moment for how this is really at the top of both the ranges? Yep. What key is this? Yeah, I don't know what Doesn't rag matter. this is. <laughs> yeah, it's very up here. You see, that is a lot of glottals on setup play. Um, um, um. Yeah. So the back of his tongue is actually touching his soft palate constantly. 
You see that? It's all tongue work. Ashiki? Oh no, Achiki. See, that was very forward in the mouth. That wasn't so nice. I wish I could understand. That is so cool. The language, because I don't know what they're speaking. It might be. Ca I don't know what they're. I don't know what language they're speaking. Because it's like 22 official languages in India. <laughs> oh. Oh, I love their understanding. Love yeah, me too. <laughs> My God, that's what you call breath control. He has an Apple Watch. I wonder how many calories he burns in one performance. <laughs> Oh. That's money right there. <laughs> the guy looks like, like yes, wow. Well, these are also worship uh, songs as well. He becomes a vessel of divinity. Yes. So does she. Look at her. How completely aligned. Yeah, I feel the guy in the back behind her. See how he even money lays with his nose. How? Yeah, the setting, the sarangi playing as a like a call and response. Especially in this section, yeah. <laughs> the harmonium play, I just love it. Yeah, that's that's like lots of long said. Woo! How fun! Wow! That's hard because a lot of this is improv. Yep. A form of improv, yeah. I love how they sing to each other. Jesus Christ. Wow! They're showing up now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is just a vocal showdown. Canada, that's just what they're saying. In the <laughs> I thought it was the language as well because it says here Canada, okay, but, but it's, it's spelled it. with double N, the actual yeah, language. Yeah, that was high. That's high. 
Dude, that bell player carries, bro. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. so hard to keep the tempo and not get lost. Like the amount of concentration needed. such a leader wow 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 they're calling off of each other's calls yeah they're going they're bouncing off of each other I think that's why it translates really well into pop music. Ah! Oh my god, that type of life is going... It is going on with my hands, man! River. Oh, oh my God. Oh, the beauty of improv, bro. That's when it turns into a vessel, like a divine vessel. you've never seen Indian classical live, I think it's like a, you have to do it before you die. Wow. It's like a one in a lifetime thing. Oh, I think I it should be, because it's not just about music. I think, I think for people that perhaps are not like big music heads, like we are or whatever, um, or maybe they're not big culture heads, because that's what we found. Like a lot of people that just like culture and want to discover cultures of different parts of the world. They go mm -hmm. to sort of conventions or classical music events and festivals and stuff. Uh, it's either, I think that's the demographic or people that are genuinely, you know, just from India and they like classical music. They grew up listening to it. It's very, you know, it's very intertwined with religion, religion as well. But I feel like for everyone, it should be an experience that they have once because yes. Yes, it's yes, yes. it's as much as a musical experience as a spiritual one. It's a very unique experience because it's probably one of the best pieces of evidence I have that music is just a medium to try and access a plane that we cannot access physically. That's right, um, that's and I think right. that's why everyone listens to music. I, I, you know, or most humans on earth listen to music or follow rhythm or like sounds. And, and I think it's because of that, because I think you'll be a fool to think that what our eyes see is all we can experience. Yes, um, yes. And here it's like, it's so palpable when you're there. 